What do you reckon? <laughs> That's unreal. 40 meters. Good to see you. How you going, bro? Yeah, good. Good, yeah. you well? Yeah, good, good. So, how's the um, yeah. every I little know. dot? I know, it's And worked. then the hats it all the way through. You ever had artwork like that, Tio? No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, eh? It looks awesome. <laughs> Better than what I could even imagine. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, unreal. So as they come in, they've got the painting straight away. Yeah. And we'll have a plaque on the side of the, side of the wall. Yeah. And um, yeah. Beautiful. Looks simple as it just looks, but awesome. it has its own place. Awesome. So we like to think that we're an old company in our industry. I mean, 53 years, one owner, he's still our managing director. So that consistency all the way through is, some people say to me, oh, that's quite remarkable. But we've still got so much to learn. And so when we opened up the Sydney branch, and it really is, I mean, this is really a, a, a jewel in our crown. Like we've spent years, uh, five years, um, planning and preparing and everything so it's great to see that it's open today but when we opened up Sydney there's a really good customer of ours called Tio who is incredibly charismatic and, and amazingly talented and I approached Tio and I said well we have this building and and we would like to be able to tell our story and he said Le leave it with me and he's come up with a beautiful painting and is able to tell the train tamer story in that painting which is pretty incredible <laughs> So this painting is called Limu Puri and the literal translation means dry water. So it's about these water holes. When I was thinking about doing this painting, I was thinking about the, the merge of the two cultures, the white fellas, black fellas on the land, and how you would go through the land because you need to know where the water holes are if you're going to do a journey. And this spot here, it's got the merging two of them too. This is when we sit down around this big water hole. There's four fellas here. You got your countryman here, black fella, and you got your white fella here. So they've joined, yeah, because they're on both. You know, they're both together. And you got your white fella here too, and you got your countryman here. Once again, I was thinking about with Terrain Team, and you know, I've been dealing with them for over 20 something years now and it's always refreshing when we catch up. And then the journey continues down to the last waterhole and that's when we make our own way after the journey, all happy. When we hear of someone breaking down in Outback Australia, there's a lot of caution with it because it can be really dangerous. Someone told me last year there was four people who died in Outback Australia because a vehicle broke down. And so you can see that when you're developing parts, you need to, that has to be a factor, you know, when you're considering what you're doing. There's people there that have traveled this land, which is very dangerous for many, many more years than us. And I think there's a lot we can learn from them. You know, and so it's an, it's an opportunity for us to, to take that and to be able to learn it. Particularly when he talks about the waterhole, knowing where the next waterhole is and appreciating that waterhole is a part of uh, a place of collaboration, a place of meeting, a place of discussing ideas, everything that Terrain Tamer is, you know. It, it, that whole place where we can talk to really smart people and learn is exactly what we do all day, every day. We have like six and a half thousand mechanics and they're all very different and intelligent in their own way. By collaborating and working with them, um, we're able to produce what we call Terrain Tamer in our range. When the customer's traveling, it's important they know where their next Terrain Tamer store is. Just to have that confidence, you know, that there is a store in Alice Springs, that, that they've got workshops in every country town in Australia, and ultimately inspire them to go and see this beautiful country. You know, so many of us don't get to see enough of it, and if we can do that with a bit more confidence, then we're all doing our job properly. <laughs>